we open up with the sad news of uh, Dwight Clark, the uh, former 49er great passing away at the age of 61 from ALS. All I can say is when people want to know about Dwight Clark, and I got a chance to get to know Dwight after he was done playing, is he's a guy you'd want to have a beer with. Uh, just when, when you talk about a good dude, he was a good dude, and he always made you laugh. Great audience, good guy, not one of those guys that was bitter, never talked about the way it used to be in our day, nothing like that. Good dude. Solid, solid, good dude. And uh, we were in Miami. This is when we first started this show, when we were doing a, a simulcast. So we had, this is, this is a big deal for us. We were on the beach in Miami, and we had our RV there. And we were trying to see if we could play with the big boys here, do radio and TV and have cameras there. And, you know, all, I asked Joe Montana if he'd come over. And, uh, and, and Joe said, well, you know, I can bring Dwight too. And I went, yeah, bring Dwight Clark. And they reenacted the catch. And it was just one of those moments where, you know, I just had appreciation for people that I considered friends. And Joe and, and Dwight had become a friend and just for them to come in, do the show, and then they went out onto the beach and reenacted one of the greatest, most iconic play in NFL history, certainly up there in the top 10. But, you know, it was just generous of them because they get asked this all the time. They talk about it all the time. Dwight never tired talking about the catch. Never. He loved it. Like, he, he just had fun with it. You know, and if you see him after he makes this catch over Everson Walls, and it really had this seismic shift in the NFC, you know, with, with the power teams, because now the Niners supplanted the Cowboys. And Dwight catches it, and his spike is just so matter-of-factly. I mean, like, imagine if somebody had that catch now. How it would be, you know, the celebration that would be involved. He catches it, and it's just a quick spike. And I said, did you ever think about the ball? And he goes, no. Like, I, like, that wasn't a big deal, like keeping the ball. It's like Franco Harris, you know, when Franco scored. We haven't seen that football, I don't think, since the Immaculate Reception. But Dwight was so matter-of-fact, he was just the party, man. He just, he was, he was fun on the field, he was fun off the field. And I thought he brought out personality in Montana. You know, because Joe was chill, he was cool Joe. And, you know, they called Dwight Clark Hercules, because he... <laughs> He was Hercules on the field and off the field. <laughs> and so he was, he was just a really good guy. And uh, I don't know if you got to see an article in Sports Illustrated where a group of former 49ers went to visit Dwight, Eddie DeBartolo, the Niners owner. He gathered up these guys, got him on his plane, and they went up to visit Dwight. And, and they realized that was the last time they were going to see him. But he died at the age of 61. And really, it's, it's a a poorly kept secret about the connection with ALS and concussions. And, and Dwight did not, you know, he was never going to be one of those guys that said, you know, I should have known better or taken, you know, they should have taken care of us. He just didn't do that. That just wasn't him, not in his DNA. But the best way I can describe him is if you saw him and you sat down with him, he would give you stories and have fun and always leave you with a smile. Always. And, that's how I choose to remember him. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.